It is Kennesaw State Black as they come in with Joel Drake and my favorite to pronounce, Quonk here. Quonk, uh, <laughs> we're not going to start that. We're not going to start that here. <laughs> the sophomore slash junior, so I'm not sure which year uh, they are, but Quonk uh, comes in here as a pretty strong uh, addition to this and uh, team overall. Then you got the uh, true freshman in Drake. So Drake comes in, the youngster uh, going in here. And Joel actually, you know, we're talking about, you know, a little bit of an experience there from the Kennesaw State side. of, And they're looking to get their first win on the board. Meanwhile, uh, Wayne State College, Hill Monkey Man, uh, they've already got a win to their name and are looking for more. Yeah, they did. They got that last week, and that's going to be Amatsugachi, Flukerton, and Rage that are going to be bringing themselves to the pitch. Wildcats going to try and continue some of that improvement. Obviously, you go deep into these best of five series. You want to try and finish it a little bit sooner, a little faster, a little bit more sure of yourself. I think they're going to be looking over to Flukerton to really be the shirt up junior to try and really kind of guide this squad. But we're going to be going into a game number one, Bear, and it's, uh, it's, it's week three. Let's see how NECC and these awesome players be able to bring it yes you know week three brings a whole different energy the first couple weeks you're figuring it out but it, after week three uh you know or once you get into week three you're ready to fire up and so mm -hmm. are we into this game number one kennesaw state black gonna try to take some notes from their top team as well you know when you have that type of program that runs deep hail monkey man you can really learn from some of the best and, and get going yourself on the pitch as well we'll see if they can get going here as we begin it almost feels like cheat codes when you have players that good to be able to scrim against them all the time. You may lose more often than not, but you're getting some really good reps, especially. So that's kind of amazing to have that depth as with these programs continue to develop and mature. Great challenge here as Rage will be the third man to retrieve in the Wildcats. So far, being tested at that midfield line, I think we're going to be finding them back there and from there quite often. Rage was struggling with this one a little bit. Uh-oh. Got to get the thumbs warm there. Couple of missed touches on the side wall, and Quonk will actually take advantage of this. Was going to leave it to you, good fake, but Rage was on it, and he's going to clear the length of the pitch here. Amatsugachi off the corner. Waiting for the follow-up from Fluke as he inched his way to the box. Still nothing doing here, but they used the ceiling to get the shot off. A little bit more dangerous than it looked on the surface, but Joel was able to make the save nonetheless. And you're having a double commit here, and this one nearly chipping its way through the Champions Division, the highest of the, well, near highest of the competition. And of course, you don't want to find yourself lacking as you could just get smacked from that near side post. And you don't want to get caught in the same sort of territory rotation either. The first 80 seconds, though, we are clean as we can be as a double demo ends up happening. And then getting punched in the mouth is Flukerton. He's going to be able to find at least one more. But it's been 90 seconds here, Bear. And Kennesaw is starting to slowly pin in the Wildcats. Yeah, and look at this passing. But that Ooh. was red. Shot taken. They can't get back to it. it. Call it a fluke, if you will. But Flukerton gets them on the board first. Wayne State just opportunistic here in this moment. You'd like to see a little bit of a quicker shot there from Kennesaw State Black because, you know, they set it up. The back pass was available, but a little bit loosely played. You got to look for that pass before you launch it. I wonder how often Flukerton is told that exact same line. It's just a fluke. Well, he's going to make sure to prove otherwise or that were to prove that it is. I don't know. Question marks are bound. Drake <laughs> with a midfield catch. And this is just kind of a giveaway of possession. They've not been able to slow things down and really kind of collect it. They've had a few good infield passes, but Wildcats are a little bit more visceral and a little bit more velocity driven to find these challenges. Yeah, they are really on it from an instant. They, they really challenge, get in the face of Kennesaw State Black, who had a little bit of extended pressure early, but has really oh. gone by the wayside here. But Drake does get a good read. This will be right in the hands of Flukerton. And although he popped it high, there was no real intended target, so fell back into the hands, but they're trading possession currently. Kennesaw State, even though it seems like the Wildcats want to give it to them, they are not taking advantage of it. As there was another opportunity, Joel drove by, and I think the comms said to leave it for a teammate, but he was dimming off the pitch, so nothing doing here. And they'll have to start from scratch, basically from their own end. But Joel will move here in transition pretty quickly. They'll use the corner, but rage on it for the Wildcats, and they'll clear back out. Yeah, you, you never know when they're going to be just kind of sneak thieving a demo right behind you, as well as that was a pretty close bounce. So they're going to be looking for other opportunities. But this has quietly just been a very fast game. You're looking for another chance, maybe for a double, as that one goes off of the crossbar. And Amatsugachi, they're trying to back pass this one back over to Rage, as that one will bonk around the cage. And demos have actually been a premium part of why this Wildcat offensive is keeping Kennesaw State off the field. 
they've been both teams have really been able to aim and uh, commit to passes even if it's in the backwards direction the ball control both ways are pretty strong and usually that goes for a relatively high scoring affair but the defenses have been wise to these chances wise to these passing lanes they've been cutting them off and it's been really refreshing to see the two defenses go back and forth and even in a 1-0 battle you're right it has been high pace high energy high energy which is something that we love to see but look this is gonna a little full jewel. They'll have to fall all the way back here to get around it. And now able to at least wisely get there. But I mean, you're almost down to a minute left. Kennesaw State's got to make a move here at some point. They definitely do. And it's not like they've not been trying to dive. That is an unfortunate situation, but it's actually going to be Quonk, who is just a step too late, trying to get at least back to that ball that was put there by a Wildcat player. Now it's up to Flukerton, and they're not going to find the read. Quonk finishes what they started. And you all set it up here just to play it into the box. Drake with a 50-50. So all three members ready here for Kennesaw State Black. That's some of the experience that this program brings in here as the black team has learned very well that you need to pressure pretty often. And they're able to equalize under a minute. Jay and Drake's trying for more. They're not going to sit back and get complacent and be content with the fact that they're able to tie uh -oh. it. They're still moving forward. Joel... Unfortunately, ran into his own man there, trying to launch the shot, and this will fall all the way back to him. A dangerous touch, but Quonk gets by two. Now, last man back needs to dive at it. Fluke does, but Drake couldn't commit in time, and it just rolled through the box and out. That is so difficult, too, because Drake is trying to track and have an immediate crash after the challenge, and you just can't get that read. Unfortunate as this could be an own goal, Joel is quick to make sure that his teammates won't be making fun of him in the war room department <laughs> off of some of that reel but now with less than 10 seconds remaining wildcats just want to make sure that any of this momentum that kennesaw has brought doesn't convert into anything more flugerton gives it back and they decide to simply move into ot i think it's a wise choice too kennesaw state's been really pressing forward more so than having to play back in the wildcats oh, yeah. even though it looked pretty open that's not a risk that you're willing to take here especially close to overtime but that is a dangerous ball the Wildcats again, Wednesday College knocking on the doorstep. This will play high. They need a touch from Drake who went up, not even using the net shot taken. It's there in the box, but it is cleared out by Quonk and now Kennesaw State the other way. That slowdown uh, right in, on the top of their box was so dangerous. And now Kennesaw is having to watch no. it go to ruin. Amatsugachi gets the cleanup. Oh boy. And that is going to be Kennesaw dropping one to the Wildcats. What a great challenge from midfield here, Bear. And that's going to be Kennesaw, the Owls. That's going to drop one off of a whoo and holler of a first. Later on, so that continued type of wise play and decision making is going to be required here throughout. But Kennesaw State was knocking on the door multiple times. Oh. And now it's the Wildcats getting back at you in the first 10 seconds. These sumo wrestle type 50-50s are going to force you into bad positions. Joel, oh man, a bit of a bonk. And they are just fist fighting into this defensive box. This this ball has hit this right side wall at least four different times here in the last 10 seconds for the Wildcats. And they just weren't able to put, move it through. But Kennesaw State has got to be thinking they're lucky stars that it didn't make it in. It was just challenge after challenge. If you ever watch volleyball and you see them uh, up in the net and just challenging and, and bonking it off one another multiple times, it was 50 after 50, and that's what it felt like vibes-wise. The Wildcats, again, had a great challenge. That ball just loosely played across the goal line. Kansas State couldn't quite get around it, so this will bounce out, working its way towards midfield, and Joel will play it high. This will force the last member up for the Wildcats, and they got to be careful. They might be running out of boots. Luckily, Rage was able to pick up that 100 boost Ooh. and play into that 50 bit. The otherwise, it would have been trouble for the Wildcats. All oh, deep in the box. That one could have been a redirect, and it still gets put through. That's exactly the inevitability I'm speaking about. Quonk with another barn burner, but it was Joel that initially had the read, and then they get caught up on top of each other. The defense just didn't know which way it was going to be shot. That's twice now we've seen all three members of both teams get in the action there and so everybody getting involved joel to set up drake to get that extra touch and then the finisher as well quonk has been quite the striker here for ksu black and i know they've only scored two goals in the series but you can tell just by the massive amount of not only just volume of shots but also the quality has increased as well for kennesaw state oh 
Wow. The control out of Flukerton is really going to be a big position to kind of run from the front of for the Wildcats. So I need to see if they can continue to find Flukerton some more open space or at least kind of start really beating him up, especially for some of these assists. He's actually going to be challenged here into the corner. But this is also a different position for Kennesaw. They didn't have a lead at all. They were able to tie at best into game number one. And so in that position, we get to see how they operate now when they're ahead get a little bit of a comfortability factor whenever you do have that lead. And so we'll see if that plays into their favor. It typically does, too. I mean, that's why you see a majority of the statistics would point at if you get that lead early, you Ooh. do have an advantage. That's a great pre-flip. That's the read. That's the striking I'm talking about. Quonk able to read this in Drake. Look at the speed to get up Ooh. to that challenge to beat them in the first place. What a combination. Drake? That, okay, first off, that was an amazing individual effort to get up to that topside corner and have a diagonal pass across the entirety of that net. Second, the timing by Quonk in full trust that it would make it there in the first place and to be able to get that bottom corner read, that is that is wild. Not just a great combination, but something that really is nigh indefensible if you're the Wildcats. So Kennesaw will double up this lead, and again, they've been proven that they can very well play from ahead. With T20 left, Hughes, you're a lead here for Kennesaw State. If you're just joining us, it was WSC Wildcats with the first one in this best of five. They build off of that, but the Kennesaw State really was knocking on the door multiple times. They gave up a, a loose one in overtime. It's the only difference maker between these two. And Kennesaw State is very close to equalizing here, especially if they continue the same trend. As Joel will turn it in here. And the Wildcats just seem to be on everything. Fluke needs a couple and gets it. Wow. They want to find it. He collects that individual kind of uh, look, but we've also seen them go do or die for a lot of these challenges, and it's been a lot of more die than as they do. It's It's been kind of strange because the Matsugachi went for one that was wide open over Joel, and you have stuff like this. You never expect yeah. where you got to defend because they're literally on it all the time. It's true. You're like, Drake, you think you have time. It, it I don't like that pass, though. I, I think you're eyeballing Quonk in that situation. Yeah. I don't know if it was a quick look and pass or if it was a blind pass, but it just, it, it's a loose one for sure. The Wildcats were able to find it here to pull themselves back with it within one. So, the comfortability factor of having the lead well, might be questioned here, especially if the Wildcats can get on the board really quickly after. Oh, looking for this step back fadeaway challenge as Rage took on at least one. The Wildcats. Trying to get this into a tied position. That actually would be a crazy comeback. Not just because you're down two, but also you have a chance to maybe send Kennesaw into a 2-0 spiral. At one minute remaining, they've been looking pretty good at sending the numbers. That's actually being barred oh. down, but the follow-up by Rage puts it in the cage. Yeah, the challenge has got to be quicker. Joel tried to get there, and that was not on him. Wow. Well, looked like he was backtracking there. Not sure it happened, but tripped over Drake as well, who wasn't able to adjust in time. Got the initial save, but couldn't do anything after that. And you blink, and Wildcats have equalized here. And they've got all the momentum rolling into another opportunity, another goal. Fluke makes it 3-2. Wildcats back on top. That demo right here on Joel, unfortunate. He wanted to catch it and go, and then you have Drake and Quonk on top of each other on the opposite side. I think Quonk, one of them was cheating up. And I was about to give like a lot of praise over to Drake for their initial save that ended up being a follow-up goal. But it's been Wildcats, three in a row. Talk about resilience, not just going down, but never being out. Now it's up to Kennesaw State to respond. Oh. The Owls need to come out during the daytime. The sun hasn't set for a majority of the United States. And perhaps maybe that's why the Owls seem to be lacking. The lead that they loved playing with doesn't see the same Joel. Again, another miss. The recognition, the positioning just seems off. These rotations have just not been the same as they were in game one that kept them close into it this last little bit. And with 20 seconds left, they need this push. Let's see if they can connect. Nice musty. Quonkling for the double. He challenges into Flukerton. There is no follow-up man. And that's going to give a great look over to Rage. Taking on two. Great collection. They don't have to give the ball away. And in fact, they do a late challenge to just make sure that this defense is stuttered and sputtered out. That not quite hitting the ground. But Flukerton will collect. And the Wildcats will collect another win. They're at 2-0 
on the mark. By the way, Bear, when we get to see them operate against this defense, I want to see how Kinesov really does find maybe an identity here because they outthought themselves. You talked about kind of what maybe was an errant pass. They just completely kind of just lost the sauce. Yeah, you have to stay focused. That's one of those moments that you learn from now. You know, you. I see week three is where you really need to get into gear, and I hmm. still will see that. But, you know, right now, it's still relatively early in the season. you got to work out the kinks. Even in a few weeks in, there's different rosters that come through, and you have to be ready for it. But right now, Kennesaw State maybe showing why they've had a little bit of a rocky start early in the Champions Division. Well, this is actually a great position to be in. If you're Drake, they couldn't quite make the difference between, but this could be a great follow-up. What a save oh. by Matsugachi. They knew that both of their teammates had to get there a lot faster than they were going to be comfortable to be. Joel from the sidewall and Flukerton is just going to feed it right up the lane as the first minute has come and gone. This one a lot more dangerous. Oh, man. They're finding some good looks, though, on these passes. I do like the nature of that aggression from Joel being able to get the pre-jump early to try and redirect that in, but just wasn't able to get there in time, and now we'll have to roll back and play some defense. This is where KSU has Ooh. really struggled because they don't seem to have the defensive rotation. What do they want it to be? It, in their offense, they look great. Defensively, that's where the Wildcats have been able to expose him just a little bit. Now Fluke, cross pass. That looked a lot like the Kennesaw State Black pass that we saw from the, the last game there where there wasn't really an intended target. And left the door open for Kennesaw State, but the difference is they weren't able to get to it. The, the Owls weren't able to take advantage of it. Very much. I mean, th there was some some purpose. He saw Rage, but it just had, it, you know, just had no power. None at all. Rage is taking on the world right now, by the way, as we just <laughs> dive into this blue box. It's like a hand in the aquarium trying to find a minnow, and you just can't quite get there because the ball just kind of goes flying. Quonk is on a mission downfield as Matsugachi fills the gap, and that has actually been one of the greatest strengths by the Wildcats is, I mean, they have a devil may care style of offense, but their defense has found some great saves. They have been. They've been building themselves out there, and I did like the oh. decision from Joel to jump back here. Pass outlet. Almost Adam, but Fluke was able to shut it down. Matsugachi... So look at the demo there on Joel. I'm trying to use the back wall here. Kwong trying to tap it down. It finds Joel again off the corner. That should find a member of the defense of the Wildcats. It does. They will turn it in with another shot. And Fluke low on boost now. Uh, would have been the time for Kennesaw State to try to take advantage of it. But Fluke, booster not able to get it out of the zone here and play it back to a, a safe spot in open corner. But now they're able to pursue try to work back in good oh. fine shot taken fluke almost got back up to it as well they've been transitioning they've been reading each other really well here but they might have left the door wide open they do the owls will get the lead here with two minutes left this is one of those issues where you feel like the the field has gotten a lot shorter and suddenly what was like a half box becomes a full box and you realize oh wow that is an open net behind me, and I just challenged forward, and it was really a lot of Kennesaw deny, deny, deny free touches into their defensive half, and the Wildcats just kind of got baited by it. A lot of this, I mean, it's been good challenges by Rage and the Matsugachi and more, but we've not seen them be consistent a few times when those wide-open zone gaps get created. This is a passing play, but a, a good disruption by Drake. Yeah, Drake was all in the face of Matsugachi. It says, if you wanted to try to get this pass off, I'm, gonna let you, I'm not going to let you see the target. And that was a big disruptor in what they were trying to accomplish there. I love that challenge. Matsugashi, another pass. They will not quit. They're looking for the box. And in fact, Rage will have the opportunity again. As he able to challenge in early, a quick turn. Look as in Matsugachi holding down the midfield. This will bounce off the corner. Oh, Drake took some time to get there. But Fluke was just out of the play. He had to rotate out. As they are grabbing boost here in Kennesaw State Black, get away and we'll keep this 1-0 lead. But for how long? Another redirect here from Fluke, followed up, but a great touch from Joel to keep it away. Man, these uh, th these saves are starting to come in at the very last second. Crash the gate if you're oh. nearby. It's gonna be a bigger one by Joel, and just enough is gonna be the defining words right now for Kennesaw if they're able to get this win. They have done just enough defense to keep the Wildcats out of their box. Trying to be able to get one big pop. Oh. Crash it in. Rage will not be denied. Oh man, the bin, but but don't break. You gotta last five minutes without the break. It happened a little early. Drake, when you get on that back wall low, 
It's so difficult to get any kind of momentum out towards the box to get a challenge. Even if you do, the angle of your car is going to launch you into the back of the net. And the Wildcats take advantage of it here to equalize it one. And they're not done. Here's a Matsugachi. Seen those passes. He's gone across the box multiple times. He's going to be trying to throw a little bit of a head fake there and go an opposite way. Almost left on the doorstep as well. Kwong try to jump on it. Nothing doing. So a back pass will restart here for Kinnisall. And with 20 seconds Ooh. left here, they're going to try to press in. Kwong try to challenge as well, but shut down in midfield. That's the, that is the junior in Flukerton right there, making sure that Wildcats don't suddenly give it away. OT could be in our nearby future. Quonk flip reset. He gets a pass two. They're going to at least stop the first. Drake caught out, but it's going to be Rage that makes sure to bring it to the midfield. Joel playing for one extra possession. They're going to let it drop to the hexagons, and it's a battle in the box, Bear. As we go to OT, Kennesaw desperately needs a game three win. And if they haven't put the last couple of losses out of their minds, then forget about it. It's all going to be the Wildcats at the end of the day. Because, you know, you, you got to imagine it's tough to fight the thought of, the, here we go again. We had mm -hmm. the lead. It, it disappeared. But they have to rush off their shoulders. And look, another mistake. And Joel, whew, that was not a very good angle to try to get out. And Joel will actually miss again. It serves as a fake, but the Wildcats are still pressing. Fluke with the flip reset. He's going to try to get the rain here to drop it down in front. But it's a great save from Quonk to get it out. My goodness, Quonk. Absolute savior right there because that was a great denial off of two defenders. Double committing. What a shot on target. Oh. And a deny as well. The putback. And another save. We're collecting saves like trying to get it on a tax return as an extra bonus of cash in your bank account. One minute here in OT forthcoming. The Wildcats will take their turn on the offense and Quonk will stomp it out. Quonk with a good 50-50 to stay put. Oh. But look out the demo in the last man. Oh, Quonk comes to save the day and play it away from this box. Now it's a Matsugachi. Tries to play it high over. It was a rainbow pass intended for Fluke. Could not get oh. it, Quang, the read is back down. Joel will finish, and Kennesaw stay black, stay alive in the series. Oh boy, Quonk just making sure to get it right past Rage, who had a great read, and Joel never giving up on the chance. Owls looking down at the Wildcats and saying, who? As they move on to game number four. Oh my. That was in the back. Seemed like much of a problem there. But they got a long way to go. It'll require a reverse sweep, but it all begins here in the game number four. As they'll try to get on the board early, Drake had an opportunity, but just off the mark. Biggest thing now for the Wildcats, they have yet to have a series, at least in the first couple of weeks, but yet to have a series where they didn't go to five. And at this point, you also, you do, if you're the Wildcats, you don't want to let any of that extra momentum build up because Kennesaw felt like they just had like those these imp, these particular moments where they pop off with a great play. But it's been the Wildcats that have had much more extended looks. Got to see how consistent that is. What a shot. But that's going to be a big save by Drake. Yeah, Drake, all the momentum rolling back and read that play before it happened. Otherwise, that one's an easy goal. But Joel tried to read off the corner. Got it. Directed towards net. It's open. Drake. Quonk, rather, able to get the goal here. And make it 1-0 for Kennesaw State, but that's all about Joel putting in the work right there. Quonk. Oh, boy. Oh, nearly giving it right back into the defender, but that was great feed over to the main man in Quonk. You were talking about Quonk being our main striker. And, yeah, we've had some kind of limited, some slower scoring affairs, but you need someone that can surely get to the back of the net and that has been nearly a hundred percent of the time for the owls a feed across and the monster and rage just can't connect going for a very light angle and wow the, the entirety of all the owls just showed up i think uh, you know there's not much else you can do with your fluke that's about as well as you can play that angle but this one will play off corner it required a bit of service there for the wildcats defensively to get it out and fluke will launch it down will be met by the 50-50 of Joel. Fluke will turn. The bump is good. Now just a touch away from Drake. I like that slamming off the back wall, but there was nobody to follow from the Wildcats. They were all rotating and being responsible defensively, and you can't blame them. It's got you in a one-on-one. -on -one. He's done a lot of these, and that's honestly what's given some promotion from the front of this attack for the Wildcats. They've been able to really trust in both Rage as well as Matsugachi to just dive deep into enemy territory and give uh, just kind of uh, a nuisance for Kennesaw Owls to really have to deal with. Quonk in an awkward space and yet navigates that very, very well. 
Rage trying to at least put one past Joel, but this is kind of a two-handed toss. You're having one being given from a offender to defender, and a Matsugachi over the top. Joel going to the backboard. They can't quite pancake it. That's a great clear. Yeah, and I like the thought from Amatsugachi oh. as that one almost found its way through to you. But I would have liked to see a shot right on net. It looked like Kennesaw State Black were a bit handcuffed by the last sequence of events that the shot on target might have actually gone as weak as it might have been from that angle. But either way, still putting that pressure on, forcing Kennesaw State back and forth, continuously trying to get the boost out of their takes. And it's been working to some degree. They gotta keep with it though. Shot taken, that's an angle. Almost found it, but off the post. Now Joel in transition looking for Drake, but just couldn't quite find it. If you're Flukerton, almost has sadly been something that's defined some of those shots. Like a lot of those shots in recency, they've had some great threats, but it hasn't bent the pipe enough to allow it to ring for the side of the Wildcats. Quonk is just gonna bear this in the backside corner. You got two minutes to go. This very quietly could move its way into a game five as Kennesaw is just kind of grinding it out. And now that they've gained footing for the midfield and of course isolated a Matsugachi, they can double up this lead. Yeah, two's your lead. Not always safe, but it feels pretty good for now. You'll take it, Joel. <laughs> Just made an awkward play off the corner. He made it awkward for Amatsugachi, who had to try to settle it. And by the time you do, it seemed like it wasn't even, you know, that slow of a development to try to get it on the hood. But it was just that much quicker from Drake, able to get that queen read. And now Kennesaw State, Black with this 2-0 lead. Look at Amatsugachi trying to put in work all the way up to the ceiling. The flip reset, though, was denied. I mean, he got it. He just wasn't able to play with it. <laughs> it's like one of those where you're like, oh, I earned this. Well, you know, you're going to have to take it for later. Matsugachi trying to key up Flukerton with maybe some th these physical plays. But let's talk about how quickly, like, we've seen some of the demo game kind of evaporate. And that's really what gave the Wildcats some of that be those better looks in game number one. Maybe they were just kind of catching them lacking. But that's a double commit defensively. And now there's going to be a wide open net before they fill it with Flukerton making sure to take away any of those daggers. The Wildcats playing a little bit more conservatively, defensively, and I'm not sure that it's really a good look for them, to be honest. Mm. There's a lot of times where Kennesaw State has just been, all they had to do was commit first, and they've oh. been able to beat out the defense of the Wildcats a few times. And so it's been a dangerous game. You know, you like the patience in some instances, but if you can't get the challenges, it doesn't matter. Now bumped out of the way, opportunity, Joel, great touch away. Otherwise, that's dangerous, still is. But eventually it will make its way out to center and a bit of communication here from the Wildcats trying to reorganize. Oh, but they're just gonna jump away from it. Looked like a little bit of a oh. panic. Joel, a quick step and almost had a little bit of a chip pass over, but it'll be denied by the Wildcats. But you've had the running out of time right now. Yeah, Kennesaw looked like they put some leashes on these Wildcats and were taking them for a walk and then dictating where they were going to be stepping because they were absolutely tripping over themselves trying to get that next possession. 2-0, 15 seconds, Kennesaw, they put themselves in a great position and suddenly we'll be flipping into a script where game five is in fact a reality around the corner trying for one more. They're not going to let that one through. And in fact, it could be a clean sheet here in game number four as they're looking for maybe a spark of momentum. Quonk bonks that one straight out of existence. We're going game five. Here we go. Kennesaw State Black. Shout out four months ago, but because <laughs> that's when the clutch was. And clutching up already. Five seconds in. Drake with the bowler getting the strike. Jake has been a difference maker, there's no doubt. But Joel has been the dish master. I mean, he's gotten every single one of these passes to go. And, you know, you love somebody who can facilitate that play. You love a role player, and that's a great. The, the fact that Joel's been able to find it and play first man constantly to be the guy to set up all of these shots has been incredible to me. And Drake has just been so ready to pounce on anything that Joel has been willing to dish out. It's been great to see here for Kennesaw as they have this early lead. If you are the Wildcats, you got to take everything under control. Do what Rage is doing. You know, a little bit chippier out there. We haven't seen the physicality. And like you said, we have been missing out on what made them different than Kennesaw. And that's not having to over-exaggerate these play setups. They have not gone for set piece. They have gone for challenges. And that has really been the difference for why they've been so good. Amatsugachi with a handoff. That's actually be a gross, very smart takeaway, but too many big brain neurons trying to get electric at the same time. Yeah, Amatsugachi had it at first. And in fact, you know, when he deny 
that initial thought, you look like you hesitate a little bit, and that's what kind of threw them off. But a good pass. Oh, opportunity down in the box, but they were able uh -oh. to deny. Now Joel will play it yep. back out with a couple of touches. Wide open net. And how many times have we said this, Hell Monkey Man? It's Joel to Drake. This time a little bit easier, but Kennesaw State Black have the 2-0 lead. Not quite the Drake and Josh, but Drake and Joel still is a pretty good uh, combination oh, yeah. there. And that one's going to end up leaking all the way to that back line. And again, it's one of those third man positions we get out of Matsugachi as they kind of go up for the home run swing. So now it's all of a minute and 10 here, Bear, into game number five, reverse sweep territory. Game five is where Wildcats live, but they hope that this is not where they die. Oh, they really i mean this would be disappointing for sure especially if they leave the same score line on the board you gotta oh. have an answer now an almost kareem 10 that was almost a bouncer of sorts he's got room to work with good comms to say you got room you can take your time here and you still have plenty of time 323 left it's not gonna be as close you know to the zero 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 mark that Maybe they're thinking in their heads here. I see teams rush all the time, so to see this patience isn't the end of the world, but you gotta have that timer. You gotta have, you know, a, a basically an alarm clock in your head when you need to start moving forward and start <gasps> to press and force the issue. Right now they're getting touches towards the box. Here's an opportunity as well as a Matsugachi. We'll play it high, but it looked like it was just a little bit too far of a commit from the third man of Wildcats. Man, I, I'm, I'm very glad that Wildcats have not shied away considering that they've left their back door open a couple of times and they've been punished both times for it, but they are still consistently just daggering down to the throat of the Owls, and yet the Owls still are in control. Midway mark here, it's a 2v1 downfield. You had to find that read. Oh, it could have been a little bit easier. Joel didn't expect, and they gave a lot of respect to that defensive effort to have just a kind of a free-floating opportunity there. Namatsugachi wants to work around uh, Quonk. I, I said he bonked earlier, and that's what's just stuck on my <laughs> mind. But they just consistently deny the Wildcats from moving out. Oh, that shot, too. It fell right into harm's way, but it eventually cleared out. But Hill Monkey Man, it's ticking up towards nine minutes without a goal for the Wildcats. Wow. And you sense it. You really do feel it. They have not really gotten any kind of pressure or sustained pressure, at least. They've gotten the first try, but that's about it. And now you can say the opposite here for Kennesaw State. They're in the box and clock. We'll clean that one up. 3-0 now for Kennesaw State Black. Wildcats trying to play checkers. And Kennesaw State is playing Apex Legends. And absolutely out mecking them moving forward. And just taking the ball away. They weren't able to get it clear. And they're just finding all of that boost in use to just bounce over their heads. Kennesaw, with less than two minutes to go, they are so close to being able to ha at least accomplish a reverse sweep in the Wildcats. They have really got to draft something up because right now they're just being shot down. Constant pressure. And you can't play forward. You can't get a goal. You can't get three for oh. sure. If you keep having shots on your own net and not being able to escape the zone, it's been so difficult for them. Amatsu Ganchi, again, only gets as far as midfield. And Joel's got open range. Shot taken again. That one's just a little bit high off the mark, but it doesn't matter as long as it's killing time. They're looking for their teammate. They got at least something primed up that's going to go over to Rage. You got to actually know that's Fluker 10. Rage is going to be all the way back in the midfield line, and they just don't miss. They, they get the connection, and they're trying to find at least one around that midline defender. You have to get one here in the next few seconds. It's This is really going to be the tone setter bear. They have to be able to at least establish a spark. And right now, the only fire that's burning is the one that Kennesaw has set. And they continue to try oh. and just dictate the pace, and they're doing a great job. Look at that touch right back down from Eight. Drake to Quonk. That one's a floater. Drake's still able to get back to it. We tick down under 40 seconds. There's been no solutions. The Owls continue to keep them at bay. And now kill even more time with a clear out to midfield. And finally, Rage will hold it in here. And now they try to go after that pump. Where was that earlier? In the slow oh. dictation, they're not able to get to it. And Hill Monkey Man, they're running out of time. They really are. That's a pass, and that's going to be a deny, and that's going to be this one put on ice. Wildcats, they had a couple good first games, but everything just kind of sputtered out. Kennesaw State, the Owls never gave up, never surrendered, and they were able to find a spark of life that really led them to go the distance. Quonk started it, everyone else finishing it. Well, the Owls are very wise, and they were very patient in this one. They had to wait till nighttime as the nocturnal... Kennesaw State University Black here. Four goals here, and perhaps a shutout as well. 
to complete it, but it, we can call what it is already. It's going to be a reverse sweep here for Kennesaw State. Black the Owls were just all over it ever since game two ended. The ball hits the ground. Kennesaw State Black. They're going to complete the reverse sweep here in the best of five and win 3-2.